Hey, how's it going guys? Wonderful here, and today I'm going to be showing you all of the newest scripts for Bloxfruit's latest update. So I actually have 15 different scripts for you guys, but I'm only going to show you the four best ones in this showcase. But if you're looking for all the links, they will be in the description. So yeah. And I think I'm going to start off with Xenon Hub V2. That's this new script right here. And it has really, really good features on it. Also, there's no keys on it at all. So you can just execute it and immediately start using it. As you can see, here's the auto farm if you want to check out how fast that is. And I'm pretty sure it has a fully automatic race v4 trial thing. So if you want to get that, that's pretty nice. You also have mastery farms. You have just tons of cool stuff. Like you can just grab all the fruit from the map. Boom, we got ice fruit. You can automatically buy a random fruit. But yeah, I'm gonna think I'm going to start off on the general tab because it's just the first tab. So of course you have your auto farms as the first thing on here. And then your fighting styles, boss farms. Let me actually show you guys the mastery farm really quick. So if I wanted to level up my mastery on my fruit, right now you can see it's 183. I'm going to do this on this script over here just to show you. So you have to scroll down, select the health. And on this script, it would be 40% by default. This one too. And then you just click on auto farm DF mastery. And as you can see, it just automatically uses my um, fruits abilities when they get to a low health. And it might look a little bit buggy, but it will end up working in the end. So it, as you can see, it's going to start putting my um, fruit abilities on them once they start losing some health. You could do the Elite Hunter. You could do Auto Hockey. If you scroll down some more, you can also farm for any of these materials over here. And there are some combat settings if you want to do this. I can show you it on this guy right here. So his name is Nguyen whatever. So I'm going to select him. Go over here. Let me enable the PvP really quick. Then here we go. So all I'm going to do first is spectate him. So as you can see, here he is running around. I think he's going to try to kill me. So I'm going to come over here and click on a uh, sword kill player. Going to bring me over to him. But yeah, there we go. He's dead. Of course, he was really low leveled, so I didn't get anything for it. But once they stop dodging, they literally can't do anything. You could just basically kill them from anywhere. As you can see, here's the built in kill aura. It's just killing this guy. I'm not even using my mouse. And oh, yeah. I definitely need to get some defense stats in. Oh yeah, speaking of stats, if you come over here to the automatics tab, or no, the general tab, on the top right, you can actually automatically use your stats as well. So for me, I don't have any currently, but if I was to level up, I can click on this, for example, auto sword stat, and then let me show you if I turn this off and start farming, whenever I level up, just give it a few seconds to teleport me. Okay, so there we go. I leveled up. Or no, I didn't actually level up yet. I just leveled up my sword. Okay, so there we go. Now I leveled up and I'm going to show you now. So I have six points and I'm going to put them all into my sword. Boom. It's going to go kind of slow. Unfortunately, I think my game's lagging a little bit. You can also do these in multiple different things. So I could do defense and sword. And here's all your codes. So I can redeem codes at my level, which is 700, about 700. Redeem me XP codes. I already did that yesterday, so it's not going to work. But that is pretty useful for auto farming if you want to get two times the XP. Here's all the event things you could do whenever that starts up again. And then here in the automatics tab, you can actually farm for like weapons and different things in the first C, second C, third C, etc. Here's all the materials you can farm for. And they also have like soul guitar farm, which is kind of overpowered. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to go over too much of this stuff because it's pretty self-explanatory and honestly kind of boring to watch. Coming over here back onto the uh, combat tab, I think this script has some of the most combat features that I've ever seen on a GUI. Of course, you have the stuff that I already showed you, like the destroy player. You can also do ESP players, which is going to show you where everybody is, along with their distance. If you scroll down, you also have aimbot. So aimbot with a gun, aimbot with a skill, which for me, if I was using my ability right here, I can just aimbot onto them and then use my snowflake shuriken, and it would just hit them every single time. Let me go back over to here to this guy. Or did he like leave the game or something? Oh yeah, kind of unfortunate. Let's find someone else. This guy right here. Okay, I guess all these people just like left the game. Here's some stuff you can change about yourself. So I can do no clip, which is just gonna of course let me walk through walls. So walk through here, walk through here. You also have infinite stamina. So now if I jump around, use all my abilities, I'm not gonna be losing any stamina. So you can kind of just like spam your abilities with this. You can also jump infinitely. You can dash infinitely. And I think they also have a... Yeah, right here you can control click TP. So I can go like this. Boom, I'm up here. Boom. Uh, go back down. Pretty cool. 
You can turn on your Ken distance to infinity, which is going to be pretty useful for PvP. Gives your comboing if you want to do automatic combo binding, you have to type them in here. And then here's the visuals tab, which actually has the teleports in this tab, so kind of weird. I don't know why they did that. They also have the raid tab in here as well. So if I was on the second C, I could show you this. You could do the... Let me get out of here really quickly. Okay, so over here, you also have... Oh, yeah, right here you have the dungeon, so I can select any of these different dungeon types and then click on Kilora. Also, automatic next island. And then, of course, you have ESP for the fruits. Doesn't look like there's any fruit in the map. You also have islands, of course. The chests in the map. Doesn't look like there's too many of those either. Um, but yeah, you can also change the color of the ESP. So let me change this to red. Maybe we'll be able to see it easier. Okay, either way, still pretty nice. You can open up any of these menus. So I can open up the Devil Fruit Shop. Pretty useful, so you don't have to go all the way over there again. Can I actually equip this? Okay, never mind. You can open up any of these different menus. So I can open up my Fruit Awakening. The, I can, let me show you this right here. So I can actually teleport to any island. Let's go to the Sky 2 island. Teleport to island. And here it is. It's going to bring me all the way up there. Let me turn that off. That's actually way too far. Let's go over here. Oops. Uh, what is this place called? Fountain, maybe? Yeah, fountain. There we go. And then I already showed you guys this where you have the auto random fruit, auto grab fruit, stuff like that. And if I can find the right tab, I don't remember where exactly it is. I think it's on like the shop area. Okay, I don't know where the Devil Fruit Sniper is, but if you're wondering what that is, I think it's on this script as well. Yeah, right here. So basically all this does is you find a fruit and then whenever it spawns in the shop, it's going to automatically buy it for you, which is honestly the best way to get a fruit. I'm saving up some money so I can get Leopard again because Blizzard is kind of bad in my opinion. But yeah, still pretty cool. You could do that with any fruit in the game. If I want to, I can also buy a random Devil Fruit. No, I don't know what just happened right there. Um, you could buy a random Devil Fruit. You can go to the shop styles right here. You could buy the swords. You could buy guns. Let me buy a slingshot. Oops, let's buy a musket maybe. Wait, okay, there we go. Now I got the slingshot right here. Start killing people with it. It's kind of a bad weapon to be honest, but I guess there it is. Here's some fragment settings. And then you also have the main settings, which is just like some default stuff about the UI. So pretty good GUI. Again, I think this is a cracked script. So I won't be getting too many updates, if any updates at all, but if you're wondering of any other good scripts, in my opinion, Mukuro Hub is probably the best script right now. The one problem with that is you're going to have to go through a lot of keys to get it, so if you're willing to go through that for the best script, then I'll have that in the description. And then you also have this one over here, which is the Mukuro Hub old version, which does not have any keys on it, but it still doesn't have that much stuff on it. You have the main tab with your auto farm. If I can change this to the auto farm normal there we go now we can auto farm hopefully this doesn't kick me there we go it's going to start killing them really really fast auto farm so yeah pretty cool i don't know if this is necessarily the best auto farm because you guys kind of saw right there it glitched out and didn't really do any damage but it's still pretty nice you have all these different things here you have your auto stats you have the player combat tab devil fruit esp which does work by the way there we go you have the raid tab Oh no, I guess they got rid of the raids. So yeah, this is pretty much just like a trial version for the main script where you have the keys on it. Here's another script called 2x hub. And this one actually has a decent amount of stuff on it. But the only reason I'm showcasing it is because I think it works flawlessly on mobile. That's what my friends have told me that this script just never bugs out on mobile. So if you're on a mobile, if you're on a mobile executor like RCSX or Hydrogen or Fluxus or something, then you might want to use this because it's also really small and they have like this toggle button that you can turn it off and on with. So pretty nice. Oh yeah, it looks like this script over here also has a toggle button, the Xamax Hub, which is also a pretty good script for mobile. You know what? Let me actually show you this. It's a really good GUI in my opinion. Let's move this over here. Okay, so over here on the main tab, I mean, you guys could just see when I'm scrolling down how many, how many things are on here. You have the combat, the stats, teleports, Dungeon Raids, Devil Fruit tab. I mean, even the Devil Fruit tab has a lot of stuff on it. You can buy anything in the game. And then the Miscellaneous tab has some stuff like this. But yeah, overall, really, really good GUI. In my opinion, if you just want a good script on mobile in general, just use this one. Or, of course, 2x hub as well. But I think this one has a lot more stuff on it. So let me show you the auto farm. Let's find the weapon. Let's do Dark Blade. 
click on auto farm level. Oops, I need to select the other thing. Oh, I still had my Devil Fruit Mastery thing on. But yeah, over here, if you scroll down, you also have a boss farm. So I can farm for any of the bosses around my level. Let's kill the cyborg really quick. It's going to bring me over here to the quest. Oops, I need to turn off that quest first. Okay, I don't know what's going on with the quests. Definitely do not use 4G wise at once because that's going to bug out your game a lot. You guys can probably tell it's kind of like interfering with each other. But you could do like the law raid. You could do the dungeon farms. Yeah, honestly, these scripts are all pretty good. But I think you should use either this one or, or Mukuro Hub, or maybe the um, what's it called? This the the Neva Hub that I showed in the last video, which is going to be getting updated pretty soon. So yeah, pretty cool script. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you can, and as always, peace.